Is there a more polarizing player in history than the Shy? Some games he appears to be borderline inting, but when he's in the zone and playing at his absolute peak, he immediately joins the conversation for best player on the planet and one of the most mechanically gifted players of all time. Here are the 10 best plays of the Shy's career. Even though we didn't get the world's best of five rematch, the Shy reminded G2 at MSI of the nightmares he caused them in their last meeting. Bonus shout out to the heel from Rookie in this one. It will be secured by the side of Invictus Gaming, but now where's the fight gonna go? Valon gonna be caught out here as Mickey X looks to protect Perks somehow. Valon has been killed. If IG tries to continue the fight, they are gonna be four versus five, but the Shy goes oh. and killing three. Where it is he found? No way! Yankos looks to find the kill. He's able to get the shutdown, but he will throw his life away for it. Caps tries to one versus three. He's able to find himself a single kill, but also gonna be shut down. And they take him down. So G2 up one member when this all starts. But the Shy says, you know what? Let's even that up really quickly. Flashes over this wall, realizes that there's already the Bane over there. So he jumps <laughs> back, and then the Condemn was in the air, I believe, adding that extra distance. The beautiful thing about top lane is you're prone to a lot more isolated 1v1s, and that is the environment that the Shy absolutely thrives in. 1v1, what really happened here? Oh, he couldn't get his Counter-Strike off. That was unfortunate, because that's a lot of damage unanswered to. And so finally, like immediately, yeah, sure, just walking up to him, because he knows it's already pretty rough. Flashes oh. forward. Yeah, there we go. Regardless of the state of the game or gold situation, there's only one direction that the Shy is capable of going, and that direction is in. Yeah, that's a big body slam into nuclear. He may have just entered here as he goes golden, but they should be able to pick it up. The body slam in the middle of the animation is going to be there. It's a Shy backflips on top oh! of the executes Canyon. Now everyone's running away. He's still going. He can't get out another backflip forward as Nogger is going to get taken down solo. The last kick from Jack. You've all seen the Shy's Aatrox, but now you've seen his Akali. What an incredible fight there! As the world's best top laner pulls a rabbit out of the hat and keeps IG alive. Darius has been broken countless times over the years and made plenty of easy highlights, but there was nothing easy about what the Shy did to do and be and Rogue Warriors. Exactly like we said could happen, as well as they're sieging mid lane at the same time. It's ridiculous. And they're still bottom. Rogue Warriors, yeah, what they're looking to make a play. The Shy's like, come at me, let's go. I'll take out Flawless anyway. Now he's in the one versus one, and I'm not actually feeling oh, joy. No. These chances, here comes the dunk. The one versus two. The Shy looks at Daphne's beady eyes. He spits in them. The Shy routinely turns around 1v2 ganks like it's nothing, and sometimes even a 1v3 dive doesn't work out, especially with a whiffed headbutt. I think it's a pretty decent idea. They don't have a mid lane tower to defend. Mobility is key. Shy. Oh my goodness, the Shy going right back. Yes, Grimson oh rush to it, picks up the AD carry. Magic, He's gonna kill there's nothing up. wrong with him. I can't oh believe God. the Shy right now. <laughs> That's a 1v3 with two solo kills. Are you kidding me? Only the Shy can single-handedly force five players to run away from him in fear and simultaneously create one of the most iconic moments of a world championship. Wood did able to find some CC on the most people. Valon now gonna be the target of the Vanguard's Edge. Wonder trying to make something happen, but G2 looked like they just want to disengage this one now. They already got the pick onto the enemy jungler. Oh! Oh! So many people! That's the Aatrox damage! And the Shy makes it happen! Watch the Shy, he's stunned up, and you think, okay, maybe this is done. Maybe there's not gonna be an edge. He doesn't have flash, remember. Hey, G2 group up and then a two man into four man sweet spot just decimates their health bar and Jackie Love and Rookie get their cooldowns back up and they're back. There's plenty of outplay potential with a champion like Vayne, but using her top lane to teleport flank into three people without her ultimate, well, that sounds like Vayne spotting at its absolute finest. Well, you're now joining the play. 
IG saving the turret with the TP coming through. That's the vein without ulti, but it's a shy way too deep. He's looking for Betty. Now might be in a bit of trouble. Flashes away. Good condemn. Cleansed away by Betty as Puff is now joining the play. IG continuing forward. The kick onto two people. RNG trade back, but the Shy now has free access here. RNG get destroyed by this vein. Only the Shy can TP into three people and set up IG for success. The Flash Condemn holds the rest of RNG in place. Did you ever think you'd see a tank Scion play? on one of these lists, well, tag it under the hashtag things the shy does. Doing it for his med laner, Sorda charges up the taunt, gives him the space and time to run away. Oh no. Yeah, he's just going on. SMLV. It, yeah, it just doesn't end, does it? There's an arcane shift available, we know it. Waiting is the shy, the iceborne coming in handy. He's Use waiting it. for decimating smash. He's waited so long. <laughs> can he get it? The shy has bitten off way too much. He dodges from the mystic shot. SMLZ. What is this outplay? The shy, best top player in the world. I cannot believe this game. <laughs> I didn't think it was possible to outplay that hard on a scion pick. <laughs> One of the lesser known highlights of the Shy comes from the 2017 Demacia Cup. Even very early on in his pro career, the insanely high skill ceiling was glaringly obvious. I truly believe that there is a hidden passive that the Shy has, which makes him ascend to God status anytime he dips below 10% health. Isn't that right, RNG? I'm getting pushed on the turret, even though Jackie Love there is able to get himself up some reason to tie. Man, the one on one, the shy again. Look how much is going on. Grand challenge. Raz, you didn't like the ultimate, but grand challenge versus grand challenge. Which one is better? Hit up. Say he's a tie if he can get all the procs off. Caster comes in, kick flash. The shy, 1v2, flushes away. Oh. Here comes the Syndra. Scatter the week was beautiful, and the tie burns. So does Caster. Oh. The shy lives. How does he do it? Xiao Hu comes back in, 1v2 himself. No the Shy re-engages, finds himself a W, still is alive, all come down. The Shy is just that top liner. The moment Karsa comes in for the fight, just take a look at what he does here. The Q doesn't come off from Fiora because the abduct was there from the Shy. Electrocute on top, obviously, because Rookie's helping him out, and that was just the cherry on top of the cake. The rest, I don't even care about. I'm a high, I'm sky high, baby. I mean, this is perfect as well. Xiaohu blocked away by Rookie. Three kills, three moments for Invictus Gaming, and the Shy is just so good.